Good morning, New Doxa. We are currently speaking on a theme. This is us. And I'm so glad that you are part of it. Now, we talked about the fact that we are in service of God and the church for people. And we do that by reflecting the character of Christ. And there are three values that's important for us. Values that helps us to display Jesus to the world. And we talked about love. Today we are going to talk about service. And the last one we'll look at tomorrow, generosity. Now, when Jesus spoke about love, he gave us a new command. But when Jesus Christ talked about service, he gave us an example. In John 13, uh, at the Last Supper, the disciples were around the table and Jesus stood up and he started to wash the disciples' feet. They were still arguing who's the greatest. And the point is of the washing of feet that the, the slaves or the bond servants were usually the people that were responsible for the washing of the people's feet when they had supper. And yet no one of the disciples were willing to take that position. But Jesus stood up, take the position, and he started to wash their feet. And when he was finished, he asked them, do you understand what I just did? You call me Master and Lord, and you're correct, I am that. If I, your master and your Lord, wash your feet, then you have the responsibility to do it also. And therefore, it made such an impact on the disciples. Uh, the rest of the New Testament, we see that. They reflected that character. Jesus didn't come to be served, but to serve, to give his life as a ransom for all of us. And we are so thankful for that. When Paul uh, talks to the Philippians in Philippians 2, he gives us practical advice about how we can do this. And listen to what he says. Um, Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind, let each other esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look not only for your own interests, but for the interests of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. And then he talks about the fact that Jesus was equal to God, but he became a man. He became a bond servant and he started to serve us. He gave us the example. I don't know if you realize it, but the backbone of our ministry, of New Doxa, are all our volunteers. People giving their time and their talents for free to make this ministry a success to take the kingdom of god to the ends of the world and i'm so glad that i'm part of this community of believers that are volunteers that are people with a passion to serve not to serve each other to serve Whitbank, and but not only our country but the whole world and I'm so glad that you are part of that. And, and we want to reflect that character. That's really a value that is so important to us. And during this time of lockdown, I realized that maybe you feel you're a volunteer, but how can you, what can you do? And I just want to encourage you by saying, you know what, there are so much you can do. Every time you share a, a, a devotion, every time you share a message, you are helping, you are serving the kingdom of God. Thank you for that. Every time uh, you donate food, you are serving the kingdom of God. Every time you support our missions project, you are in service of the living God. And you are giving your talent, your time, your money. And we are appreciative of that. Thank you. This is us. We are a community of believers here to serve. May God really bless you and use you as you give your service to him, to us, to each other, and to the world. God bless. We love you. Bye-bye.